So here is the secret. The secret is easy. If you ever, um, if you're using Laravel generator and you add a new field to your database instead of doing PHP artisan migrate and all, there are a couple of other places you need to actually add that new field. For instance, if we go to app, we we'll go to model in referral categories, you'll see that um, fields are listed here. But guess what? Uh, the, the user ID field we added isn't here. So we need to add user ID. Remember that a couple of videos ago, we created an extra field and added user ID. It's integer. Then we need to add these new guys we added, referral visits. Those guys are integer too. Integer. And then the last guy, I think it's referral count. Count. So every time you add a new table or field, a new field, you have to list it here. All right, I think we need to also list it here too under fillable. Fillable means that uh, Laravel kind of protects your app from being uh, accessed from the form so that an external person can't access it. So all the fields you don't need to be accessible from outside, uh, you shouldn't list them here. But any field you list here can be updated from outside. So we have to put comma. Make sure there's comma in everything. All right, we're good. Now the next challenge is to go to repositories and do exactly the same thing. So if we go to repositories and look for ref category, we'll see that uh, we need to list it here. So let's go to ref category. We'll copy this, exactly what we have here. We need to do it in the repositories, you see. We need to list all the fields in the repositories. Okay, so every time you add a new field to your database, you need to do this thing I'm doing now. Just update your model and your repositories and that's all. And of course, just for a good programming practice, you need to also update your your um, migration file. Okay, so but before I do that, I want to show you that it already works. If we refresh here, reload, we should see zero, zero. And funny enough, it's not showing Okay, but first of all, let's add the migrations ref categories. In ref categories, we need to add three fields. Let me paste them here so that I can see them. So the first field is ref. The second field is count. And that sorts it out for me. All right, cool. Now, the reason why that zero is not listed is because we've already created this record before we set the default. So if we go to our database and check browse under ref categories, click on browse, we will see that um, under ref count, you see that it's zero. But if we create a new one now, it will be at the number of zero. These ones are empty now. So to confirm that, let's quickly create a new one. Let's say um, right here, you'll see the button. You will see the button for create new. So this create new button will help me to create new ref. I'm just going to call it. Um, um, this will not work now. For this, what we want to do to work, we need to actually include the user ID in the controller. So let's go to the controller. You see, the user ID is not optional. So I think I should make this nullable. Nullable can be zero. And then the default is zero. So add this to your migration for the two of them. But this one is compulsory. User ID is compulsory. The field we have here doesn't show us user ID. So if I try to create a new a new item now, to show me an error. So let me just prove it to you. If we go to if we don't do um, let's say a new category should be Instagram. Click save. I should see an error, integrity issue or something. You see, a general error field user ID doesn't exist. You see, a ref categories and blah blah blah. So, um, user ID doesn't exist really. So, let's check ref categories user ID it exists. Sorry, I was wrong. It said general error field user id doesn't have a default value you see so um that's that's what i want to fix now now um when you fill your form in your laravel it submits to 
a file in your controller called go to your app folder go to http go to controller folders now look for the controller we called it ref category so if yours doesn't show up like mine you click on this refresh icon it will show up so you have ref category so inside ref category see that laravel generator created a lot of codes for us so we're looking for the code that um, uploads um, creates new um, ref categories here you see it it receives the form input sorry this receives the full form input and then creates it uploads it to database then shows a success message so but we need to add the user id all right so we do input user id is equal to the id of the currently logged in user so we can say user id so we're picking the id of the currently logged in user and sorry the id of the currently logged in user and saving it here so that by the time this line is saving it to the database the user's id is saved but we need to import auth too so you go to the top of your app and say use auth this makes sense now so if we come back to our code go forward to where we had the error then if i refresh now click continue um the error should be gone and now you see that we have zero zero here all right so that's a proof that um for the next the, the future records it's going to have zero 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 as default so if i wanted to add zeros to this one i'll just come to the database and refer count i'll put zero that's it i can put a large refer count for this one 35 people um i'm lost all right so here is what i'm going where i'm going to stop for this video see you in the next video see